A family is desperately searching for a missing man that was last seen on Saturday. And now they're hoping that the public may be able to help find him. Our Roseanne Aragon live this evening in the Katy area with a story you'll see only on two. Ro? This family search continues tonight. Floyd Man Hayes was last seen here at this Walgreens on Mason Road behind me after leaving a medical facility. The family says bizarre things have happened since then, and now they're turning to the public for help. Don't want to think the worst. I like want to hope that he's just he's somewhere. 63-year-old Floyd Man Hayes is this family's rock. He's very honorable. He. He's always there. He he takes care of his family. But Ashley Perkins says her stepdad never came home. He didn't come home Sunday morning. He was supposed to come home Saturday night. Perkins says it all started after Hayes hurt his hand while helping a friend in Waller. He's not the kind of man to ask for help. His family urged him to seek medical care, which he finally did here at this facility in Katy Saturday, where surveillance showed he just left. He was hopped up on morphine from this pain medication, and he just left. They filed a missing persons report and alerted Katie PD and the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Investigators revealed he was last seen on camera at the Walgreens on Mason and I 10 picking up medication and then driving off in his black Suzuki equator with plates KTC 9326. Everything in my power to get his name out there to show his face. But Perkins worries. One of my biggest fears is that it could be connected connected to her half brother, the son of her stepdad. 20 23 year old man Austin Hayes, who was charged with murder in the 2020 shooting death of his ex girlfriend Julie De La Garza. The case is still pending. Perkins and the family maintains her half brother is innocent, but Austin's been getting letters in jail from individuals threatening our family. Her half brother has been behind bars and has a court date this Friday. Because it's just really odd. Another odd happening Saturday night. Their mother gets a call from her missing husband's phone, but it was a stranger's voice and they just said, sorry, but dial and hung up. Now, investigators say the last time they were able to ping the stepfather's phone was Saturday, 1030 at night and nothing since this family is asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers. For now, reporting live from Katie, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, 2 News.